Hello, everybody. I just realized how much I hate this t-shirt, but it's too late now. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Siren Jag. I'm a face paint and makeup enthusiast, a true crime crama panelist, and a shady, shady individual. I'm best known as a side player to other creators, but I've stepped out of my comfort zone to start my own channel. If you like my content, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and then subscribe if you're new. Feel free to share this video and hit that bell icon to be notified of my future posts. Folks, for weeks, ever since I started posting content, people have been asking, Siren, when are you going to start posting makeup tutorials? When are you going to start posting makeup tutorials? When are you going to start posting makeup tutorials? And for weeks, I have put them off. After all, I am not a makeup artist. I'm just a guy who taught himself face painting in the hopes of having something in common to do with his teenage daughters, who then had all of his teenage daughters not have any interest whatsoever. And then I picked up some meager makeup skills along the way. Plus, I'm nowhere near any beauty brand's target audience. There just is nothing I could really add to any conversation that the beauty community could possibly have. But after some thinking, an idea finally came to mind. So today is going to mark the first installment of The Island of Misfit Makeup. In my own little slice of the beauty world, I'm going to present makeup that either isn't in the mainstream or has fallen from it. Is it from an indie company or even from Etsy? Is it being offered at a ridiculous discount? Is it sold at a tiny price already? Is it part of a bundle or a mystery box? Did I purchase it at a secondary seller like a TJ Maxx or a Nordstrom Rack? Was it a gift? Anything along those lines. Then I'll take those purchases that I'm presenting in that episode and I'll try to create a presentable face. As I am far from being even a presentable makeup artist, you will see every error that as I try to save things multiple times. <laughs> and you will see every blooper as it happens. Even as my teenage daughters cross the room, you'll see that. If my daughter's cat leaps on the table, you'll see that. If I have to blow my nose, you'll see that. If it happens, you're going to see it. In the end, you'll see my photos. Many, many of my online looks have been saved by the photography, and we'll just see where things go. Now, for episode one. At the end of January, Juvia's Place was offering a January makeup mystery box. Quite the discount at what they claimed was a value of around 40 bucks they were selling for 18. And in preparation for doing this, I hopped on that. So you're about to see what I received. First, First, we have the Saharan Blush Palette, Volume 1. Ooh. Ooh. A Saharan Goddess. That's the tagline on the back. 
the Saharan blush palette embodies a meticulously formatted array of colors to captivate facial structures with a flush of richly pigmented colors to make you a true Saharan. Girl. I already have this palette. Bubble wrap. We like bubble wrap. You're going to notice something about these colors. What do you see about these colors? Let me take off this protective wrap. Now, look at my flesh next to these colors. You'll notice I'm terminally white. Do you see a blush in here that I could use? I say nay, nay. You'll notice two shades that could be used as bronzer. Three shades far too dark for me. And one coral orange thing. I already own this palette and I've never touched it. Now, the next thing I received is the glass lip gloss in the shade It's Electric. I don't own this. No flavor text on the back of this. This, I like. I don't own this, but it's a clear lip gloss with gold. I can use this. Of course, it's in protective wrap, so I can't actually open it. Just fight it for a minute. <laughs> Wish I had some fingernails. You see, actual beauty gurus have staff. I, however, do not have that luxury. See the swatch? Let's see. Here's the swatch. It's doing this on my hand. Ooh. Ooh. Obviously, it's a clear gloss. That was a naughty sound. Now it has one other item, which I'm about to show you. I'm going to need my drink momentarily. the Nubian 2. The Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's was inspired by an African empire in old Egypt headed by the beauty icon Nefertiti. 
she was famously endowed with strength and spirituality. This palette consists of 12 versatile array of metallic shades and pops of colors. That is not even a sentence, but we're not going to dwell on that. I'm just going to get this out. I also did not own this, and there's a reason. Ooh. First thing you'll notice is that, dare I say, sexy blue. That shade is called Cleopatra. And all the rest are various browns and bronzes and golds. Remember that shade's called Cleopatra? This is an eyeshadow palette, remember? But on the back, it says that that is not an eyeshadow. It, among other things, is actually called a pressed pigment. And it says shades Morocco, Madagascar, Yah, Jezebel, Cleopatra, and Kenya are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. Hmm. Okay, Juvia's Place, then what do I do with that? Where do I put that blue, Juvia's Place? I presume the average person isn't going to do the face painting that I do. The average person is going, who would use this would be, dare I say, a female who wants to just wear this around during her daytime life or her nighttime life. So where would she put this? Typically, beauty brands put things in these bundles because they can't move them, because no one's buying them. Anyway, we're going to set those three things off to the side. We're going to get started. My space on my computer desk is very limited. Now, as this is truly misfit makeup, I'm going to start with primer as I've already washed my face. I'm going to start with Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. And I'm starting with it because it came as samples from Sephora orders because we're really starting <laughs> as misfit makeup. I didn't even buy it. I just got it as a reward. In case one isn't enough, I got two.
Oh, God. I hate this already. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Lord. It is hydrating. I don't think two is even going to be enough. I've almost gone all the way through one and it just barely did my forehead. Gotta get every little bit. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh. I have the largest dark circles because I'm a 48 year old man. That's how it works. I've already used retinol today. And they recommend after you use retinol to use a moisturizer. And I've not done so yet. But I think this will do for now. That's one. You get the other one out. The other one, which will not open. There we go. This looks like so much zit cheese. Good job, Benefit. Now I have to somehow get this into my beard. Uh, I don't have anywhere near enough for that, but I have a plan. My plan is, I have other stuff. BH Cosmetics, which is going out of business, by the way. Well, then maybe they won't, but they did declare bankruptcy. Paradise Prime Mattifying Face Primer. This I found at TJ Maxx for $3.99. For 25 cc's. Mattifying primers are, in theory, supposed to help stop oil. That's a benefit for crusty me. Because since I started face painting, my face turned into an oil slick. Oh, that's coconut. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that's a lot of coconut. If you like coconut, this is the primer for you.
Also, do not ever forget your ears. Oh, I've spooched on my desk. <laughs> Let's see. What am I doing for foundation? Is that it? No, that's not it. Where did I put that some bitch? Am I doing anything for foundation? I know I said it somewhere. Hmm. Technical difficulties number one. Number one, number one, number one, number one. I'm going to hit fast forward through this, folks. Oh, there it was. <clears throat> Hope you fall. Good thing I'm cutting all that out, isn't it? Next was not foundation. Next was concealer. Next was Jeffree Star Concealer in the shade, whatever this is. Magic Star Concealer in the shade. C4. This was on sale at NordstromRack.com for half price, which was still $9. And no, I do not want to hear anything about Jeffree Star supposedly being racist, okay? I know about all that, and I don't care. Make me a good product. Oh, we have a very, very peachy product, which I'm fine with. We're going to the side camera, folks.
Now this stuff dries down in a hurry. We're just going with our finger. Hmm, I've noticed right off the bat that my finger is lifting the concealer right at the edges. Well, can't be helped this moment. It does not get along well with this benefit. Yeah, see how it's rolling up? That's just going to make texture later. So hopefully I can pet that out. That's as good as that's going to get. Now, as my bronzer is going to be powder, I don't have to worry about that yet. But I am going to go with a powder foundation. This is the Alme Clear Complexion, Clear Complexion Pressed Powder. In the shade light, of course. This was on sale on clearance at Walmart for $5.48. Covers, clears, corrects, and controls. Maybe I won't break out. Who am I kidding? I'm always going to break out. Gave me this handy little doohickey. this close I'm 
This is going to be a slow and tedious process. Luckily, I can fast forward through it. Computer, go to ludicrous speed.
obviously, powder foundations are not going to give you quite the coverage that most liquid foundations are. Now, for bronzer, we're going to see how this goes. Hey, TJ Maxx, I got the Perfect Bronze Beauty Concepts Illuminate Highlighter and Bronzer Palette. Ooh, this was $4.99, folks. Mmm. <sighs> Pat brush in the bronzer and tap off any excess. Start just below the apple of your cheek, then sweep the brush upwards and outwards along your cheekbone. I'm going to show all this to you. This is supposed to be supposed to be a mix of highlighters and bronzers. What you have here is three bronzers that are essentially the same color, two highlight shades that are essentially the same color, and three, God knows what I do with this. Girl. Anyway, we're going to start with one of these random bronzer colors. This one down here. This one here. Here. Over here. I point you over here because I know that one is luminous. We're just going to see what happens. I have put mud on my face. That is mud. Well, if I'm going to have mud on one side, I'm going to put mud on the other one. We're going to be relaying on the photography. <laughs> now I'm going to make the quote unquote beige rainbow, which is the area around the forehead.
Now I'll fix my jawline down here. I've made more streaks of mud. Good job. But I know this shadow will look decent in photos. Do I look tan? No, no, no. It actually doesn't look that bad. Now, I like look glowing like an alien slut. I don't know that this is going to do that for me. Do you think any of these colors are going to do that for me? Oh, that's some kick up. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, she shows up, though. Oh, oh. Oh, we're we're at half chub. We're at half chub. Oh. My country tears of the sweet land of liberty, hardly I sing. I was not expecting that. You get this other side. There's no glitter, it's just nice. Now let's get over the brows.
I don't want to go quite that hard in the middle of my forehead. So we're going to come up here. And we're going to glue that hard anyway. <laughs> let me let me kill that a little bit. Yeah, I don't do natural makeup. I glow. Now we're going to get the uh, Cupid's bow and the bottom of the lip. It is really tough to get this when you have a mustache. So I end up just using my finger a lot. Tops of the ears.
And now you say to yourself, self, he hasn't used any of that grab bag yet. And you're right. First, we have to prime the eyelids. The one thing I had that I had on sale was some Ulta Beauty under eye primer, which I'm going to use for the eyelids. I got this at a buy two, get one free sale. You have to kind of be patient to find those, but they happen. One side done. Two sides then. Now. We're going to take our Saharan blush palette. Okay, I guess I will nominally, nominally get just a zhuzh.
Somebody's beeping me. Cut those cheekbones. That I made myself. Okay, now. I'm going to take this dark color right here. It's called Abby or AB or ABY, however you want to pronounce that. I'm going to start my smoky eye by coming right into this crease. That looks like hell right now. You just wait. And you just keep working that crease. Do the same for the other side. Now, you shouldn't actually need any more pigment than that. Just work what you've got.
I'm going to clean off this brush because the left eye has way more pigment than the right eye. And we're going to take some of that off. Now, that's as close to even as I'm going to get them. See how I'm doing as far as matchy matchy. I'm not doing great. That's okay. We got other colors to hide that. Let's see. I'm going to take See, I'm gonna do I think mm, let me make sure oh that's a, that's a stupid pressed pigment that's a pressed pigment that's a pressed pigment what good are you
Everything I want to use is a pressed pigment. Okay, I found one. little tiny brush strokes into that darker color. Yeah, what am I not supposed to use right in the immediate eye area? Because I intend to violate that. No, I'm not. Don't do that. right under the eye, eyebrow yeah that's what that is Then, right under the eyelashes.
I didn't use the yellow under the whole thing. So I've got, let's see, can't use that around the immediate eye. So I'm going to use this kind of greenish thing here just so I use something else. Mud on the face. Mud on the face. Make it match on the other side. Not my neatest, but I'm 48, and I'm not a makeup artist, so who cares? Now, to bring everything together, put all that in my eyebrows. And the beard, why not? Live a little. If I'm going to do all that, why not put a little of the yellow in the beard? Bringing stuff together, aren't we? No. In the spirit of freaking everybody right the hell out, as a birthday gift, I got samples of Laura Mercier shadow sticks from Sephora. Looky, looky, everybody.
I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. The waterline is the only reason I use shadow sticks, and that didn't work for crap. So we're going to try another way. Maybe it's in there and I just can't see it. Does it's on my brush. Do you see it? You see it on my brush? And it's no longer on my brush. We're going to call that a fail. Anyway, for mascara, we're going to use this sample mini of Clinique High Impact Mascara that I bought with Sephora points. Only two things left to do, and then I can take photos. I keep getting beat. I have that lip gloss to go. And then I have the base for the lip gloss, because I don't have to set this, because it's all powder products. Well, I mean, I could. I could use setting spray, but I'm only going to take photos. So, hmm. anyway, I'm going to use as a base for this um, 
Sephora melting lip clicks in the shade something or other. Some peach nonsense. Because it was on sale for three bucks. Click, 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 click. Oh, that's right. This is a gloss. I thought it was just a lip balm. Silly me. Maybe that's why it was on sale for three bucks. And now for this gold spoochie. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. That's some peach, yo. Hmm. I may need to tone that down around the edges a little bit. I'm coming back over here. To this, my highlighter palette. There. This face is done. Do I look alien slutty enough? Yeah. That's an hour and a half of my life. So I'm going to take these photos and I'm going to post them over in some general area. They'll be somewhere. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. Leave some comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell icon for notifications of when I might do this again. And... 
as always, I'll catch you next time.